Good morning, everyone, and a happy new year to everybody. We're just starting out in 2021, and this is my first daily five of the year. Uh, so I'd like to thank Stock Charts again for uh, inviting me back. I love doing these. We have 10 minutes to present five charts. And today, I thought it'd be fun to sort of mix it up a little bit. We're going to look at some charts from the energy sector. These are coal stocks, and you can find these in stock charts. And I'm going to mix up some regular charts with some point and figure examples. So if you're not familiar with point and figure charts, you might get just an idea of what they are and how you can use them. And of course, stock charts has point and figure charts. All you need to do is scroll down to the bottom of your chart and there'll be a selection for point and figure. And then as always, do your due diligence with any of the charts that I present if you're considering them for an actual trade. The first one we're gonna look at here is CNX and this I have up here on a weekly chart. And most of the charts that I present on daily five are pattern based, uh, usually AB equals CD, a Gartley, butterfly, a consolidation pattern or a combination of those things. In this chart, we can see that there's a triangle forming that's outlined in these pink dashed lines. And this center price here, just above the $10 area, you can see how often the price has been trading down and around and back up and through this price level. These center areas become really important in the coils. A lot of times this is where we can find a little bit of an early direction on a breakout. We've had um, a downward sloping trend line that broke to the upside in March of 2020. And the lower part of this triangle, you can see here, retested that breakout area. So this is an important support area right around that $8. Um, also, the RSI here has stayed in a bullish position as the market has been forming this triangle. And the on balance volume actually in 2019 is when this started climbing to the upside here. Now let's take a look at this same chart on a point and figure chart. And point and figure charts um, have been around for over a hundred years and they were likely born out of necessity of traders having to record the prices very quickly from the ticker tape. Not sure anyone knows exactly who originated it. Um, Charles Dow, I think he's his name comes up the most with the origination of point and figure. But they remove the noise and they show excellent support and resistance areas. And there are many patterns um, within point and figure, and it does take uh, quite a bit of study. But just learning some basics can be a really good tool. So basically here, what we have is we have columns, X columns are up and O columns are down. And so currently on this chart, this is a um, three box reversal chart. So that means in order for an O column to the downside, it needs three boxes to reverse. Whereas to continue the upside, just one X column will continue that. Just a basic um, point and figure there. So here we have a breakout level um, above the 1250 if we were to generate a new X here. And another thing with point and figure is that you can also calculate um, risk and rewards. Uh, and there may be multiple risk rewards that you can calculate within one um, pattern. Um, but I'm just gonna show you an example of one here. And there are different ways to do the counts. They can either be horizontal or they can be vertical. But I'm gonna show you an example here with a horizontal count. Now I'm using this row here and we have 13 across in this column. And I'm using half a, a half a point here. It's a three box reversal. So I'm taking 13 times half of a point times three and that equals 19 and a half. And that, um, we add to the lowest price of the all the columns here, right down here, and that gives us a target of 28 if we were to have a good upside breakout. 
Now we can also um, figure out the risk and the reward by taking that 28 target, subtracting the 1250 from it, and that gives us 15 and a half. And then our risk from the 12 and a half down to the eight and a half is four and a half. So you can calculate your risk reward and you can find a lot of very favorable risk rewards with point and figure. Now our next chart here, this is XXC and we can see here that it says high pole warning on this. And what that means is they have this long column of X's and then it's reversed by probably a little more than 50%. That, that's a high pole warning, that's a bearish sign. However, with this particular um, chart, we can see that we have a downward sloping trend line that has broken to the upside. And we have this upward sloping trend line here. So if this stock were to come up and break to the upside with another X column above the six, that would be a bullish breakout. And that would be a very strong signal. So I would be keeping an eye on this stock. Now let's take a look at it on a regular bar chart. And you can see just the differences in these. Look how quiet you know this is. And then we suddenly see sort of noisy, more noisy type of movement with a regular bar chart. Now this is the monthly chart of SXC and I've drawn in longer term trend lines uh, here. And so this trend line here, you can see a break above that, that would be coinciding with the point and figure chart I just showed you of a potential breakout to the upside right around the five and a half to six area. Uh, here we can see using some indicators, the scooter, which is stock charts, uh, kind of their relative strength indicator is rising. Uh, that's a positive sign. And then we can see here the RSI is also rising. It still has some work to do, but this is a monthly chart. So we're taking a longer term view here. And the momentum takes time um, to get to some of these longer term charts. So the on balance volume also on the monthly chart also needs to be rising with any type of a breakout. So our next chart here, um, BTU is the symbol. And I have them side by side for comparison. And here we have what's called a low pole reversal. So that means just like we looked on the other chart, we had a bearish breakout to the downside with these O columns and you can see where that support was, but the market reversed with this long column of X's up. So the bulls were able to take control on this. So there um, is a potential breakout. This is a bullish pattern. So there's a potential breakout pattern on this with another X or it could pull back with some O's and then come and break out to the upside with the X's. So above around the $5 to $5.50 um, areas is bullish. And then if we look over here to the right side and we look at the bar chart of, um, of this stock, I've sort of marked in this, again, this sort of sideways uh, consolidation where the center of that was and where there was support here, the market broke that and came back up through. And that's what we're seeing here with this low pole reversal. So it has broken, I drew this trend line in, there's a couple of trend lines. I used the highs here from 2018 extended across and then also took this section where the prices became steeper to the downside and drew a trend line there. And then also a trend line just across these last highs here. And so the market is looking bullish with, we have a break of this trend line here. And we'll see here if this, um, if this price holds up here. Again, if it gets a little bit of a pullback, like maybe three O's down, and then another column of X is up, it would be breaking the highs of here. However, it, you know, I don't know if it will pull back, it could just continue up with this breakout. Um, the RSI here is looking bullish. 
uh, you can see from where these lows were, the RSI started climbing to the upside as the prices recovered and came up and broke through that previous resistance area. The MACD never really went negative on that move to the downside. And then our on balance volume is also rising. And lastly, this is a current chart on the point and figure HCC, and it's just had uh, what's called an ascending triple top breakout just a couple of days ago. And I've marked in here, we have an upward sloping trend line. Getting back with the column of O's below that trend line would be um, a negative, and then especially getting back below here of this darker blue trend line would be negative as well. But you can see the point figure, it had a number of reversals. <clears throat> the bulls have been able to overcome. So if you look here, we have the bears and the bulls, bears, bulls, 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 and all the bulls have really been able to overcome most of these long um, bearish columns to the downside. So this is looking like a positive breakout to me at this time. Well, that is it for your daily five today. Uh, thank you for joining me. And if you'd like to learn more about some of the patterns I use, please visit me at Trading Live online and look for this um, special with this link right here. Happy New Year, everybody. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below. Maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're going to bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.